Hey everyone, it's Will from Echoes of Pink Floyd. Well, I've been listening to music ever since I can remember or walk. Uh, I've always listened to mainly rock and pop. I started learning piano when I was about five years old and my interest grew from there. When I was around seven or eight, I first got into the Beatles after I was introduced to it by my parents. And that seemed to be the starting group that spawned many different musical interests and hobbies of mine. Uh, I wanted to learn more instruments and so I started learning drums and bass, a little bit of guitar as well. Uh, I listened to basically everything from 1950s jazz to classical to R&B to progressive rock. Uh, in my eyes, if it's good music, it's good music. I don't really mind or care for where it comes from as long as I can uh, resonate with it or enjoy it. I first got into Pink Floyd when I was in my first year of high school. That would have been roughly 10 years ago. It's a little cliche, but the first album that I really got into by them was The Dark Side of the Moon. And I'd already had my preconceived notion of that album beforehand just because it was so massive. Like I knew it was famous, but I'd never really known much about Pink Floyd. And so being a young teenager, uh, first discovering it, I really connected with the themes it was trying to say in regards to uh, various issues around the world, including mental health, which wasn't necessarily tackled much at the time. I really enjoyed the various styles that they played in. I thought it was incredibly interesting for me and I've been a fan ever since. Without question, Animals is my favorite Floyd album. I love the many progressive style changes, the key signature changes that it goes through. I love the different interplay between the vocalists of Roger, Rick and David. I love the solos that every member gets a chance to shine on that particular album and most of all I really love what it has to say lyrically that even though it is really poignant, unfortunately it still rings true today and listening to it in my latter days of high school when I was slowly starting to become an adult, uh, figuring out what my values were, I really strongly resonated with it. If I had to absolutely pick one favourite song, it would probably be one of the one of the longer ones so I could listen to it for longer. It would probably be either Echoes or Dogs. You got to be crazy. The organizers of the group were seeking to form their own offshoot project. I auditioned over Facebook. Uh, I got into contact with Paul the keyboardist and I got into the group. Uh, sadly, due to various circumstances, that project didn't end up going through to performance stage. And then around six months later, they called me up telling me that there was a vacancy within the group for a bass player and occasional singer. Uh, I auditioned with a couple of songs. Have it, I got into the group. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool to have uh, really close friends who are the same age as my parents. It's a very interesting experience uh, and they're all very easy to get along with. In fact, one little concern that I had before joining the group was were they going to be disciplined and take the job seriously or were they going to be the typical image of a rock star? And I had all my worries quelched the moment I joined. They took the job very seriously and they also had fun, which to me is a perfect combination. How I wish, how I wish you were here. It really is a chance for me to make my dreams come true. Like ever since I can remember, I've always been like dancing around and singing in my bedroom or performing in front of the mirror. So to get the chance to do that in front of other people and not have them like laugh at me uh, is a really, really exciting opportunity. It's a sin that somehow light is changing to shadow and casting its shroud over all. really 
great chance to connect with other people on a human level and it's a really good chance for me to play music that not only I enjoy but other people enjoy. It's a really, really good time. Well, being a neurodivergent person, I was slow to learn certain aspects of growing up in education when I was much younger, when I was around three or four years old. And it was roughly around that time when my mum's friend suggested that I get put into music education because it was a different way for me to learn various patterns and gaining social cues and being able to be around other children my age doing a like-minded fun activity. And I say that even though I had listened to music a lot before and I really enjoyed it. The fact that they put me into education uh, from a young age uh, within the field of music, it completely changed my life and it really gave me a chance to understand uh, various aspects of uh, being around other neurotypical people, but it also gave me the chance to really indulge in something that I truly loved. It made me more confident as a person. Hey everyone, it's Will from Echoes of Pink Floyd. Hope you come to see one of our shows later this year. I'm looking forward to meeting you. They say which we won't understand. Don't accept that what's happening is just a case of other suffering. Or you'll find that you're joining in the turning away. It's a sin that somehow Light is changing to shadow And casting its shroud over all we have known